everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my partners in cream finale. I've been doing this all year long. This is my second whole year that I've done this project, which is really exciting. I didn't think that I was going to even do it like this last year. And then I decided in January I'm going to do it. And then I've done it all year long. And now here we are again. Another year has gone by. <laughs> So this was a project created by Step Lion and Dylan. I have the channels linked in my description, um, but it is a project plan for all of your cream items and you roll about five to seven items. I think you can just do as many as you want really, just, just so long as they are cream based items and non powder. Um, so I didn't post my update in November, but I did finish my primer um, from Ofra. So if you are interested in seeing uh, what happened then, um, I did post on my Instagram a small little post on that. But otherwise, this is my finale. I actually have another empty today, which I'm really, really excited about. And then some of these items, I may or may not add them to a project next year. I just wanna give myself the month off um, from them because obviously some of them I've been working on all year long and I kinda just don't wanna look at them anymore, <laughs> at least for a month, and then I will come back to them. So let's start with my empty. I always like to kick it off with my empty at the moment. So so I have finished my concealer. This is the Essence Stay All Day 16 Hour Concealer. I used it five times this month and then I called it quits. Um, it is really, really dry. There is a lot of windowing um, and I took the stopper out last time and it, uh, there is a tiny bit of product right at the bottom here, but it doesn't even move. It's like stiff. So I don't even want to put that on my face anymore. This is done. I'm very, very happy to finish a concealer because I've ended up with a lot of concealers all of a sudden and I want to get through them. So to be able to finish a concealer is really exciting to me. So that one is done. And then next up, I did roll in my e.l.f. lip gloss. This is from their Retro Paradise range and it's the Dream On lip gloss uh, in Tropical Fruit Punch. And so I was seeing some really nice progress. There is a very little left, to be honest though, because there is still a lot of windowing all around. It's looking a little dry. It's, it's, it's not looking as good as it used to. However, I have slowed down in using this. I've just uh, been using some other lip products, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to, you can't look in there. <laughs> no, oh, this one actually, I haven't even taken the stopper out. I thought I took the stopper out. So um, I haven't even taken the stopper out. I imagine, to be honest, I probably should have taken the stopper out because then I think I would have got all of the last little product in here. I, this is, this could be an empty. If I wasn't a project planner, I'd be like, eh, I'm gonna chuck it. I don't wanna use it anymore. But because I like to finish items till the end, not till the bitter end, but till the end. And because I think I probably should take the stopper out of this one, I'm not calling it an empty, but I imagine come January, if I do use it, it would be an empty, but I just want to roll it out at the moment. <laughs> um, I, yeah, as I said, I've only used it twice, so um, if I had pushed myself a little bit more and focused on it, it would have been another empty, but I'm sure I can finish it very, very soon. All right, next up, I've got an eyeliner here. This is super cute. It's so tiny now, you can't even see what's going on or what it was, but it was a Jouy eyeliner and it is a brown eyeliner and it is so teeny tiny. <laughs> I've used it twice. I do have to sharpen it literally almost every time I use it though because it gets blunt very fast because it is very, very creamy. I don't mind that, but it has become very, very small. And to be honest, am I gonna keep this going into 2023? I think I will. <laughs> this is another item which I could have finished had I used it more, but I kind of just slacked off the last couple months and I have not used it when I could have. So I think like the e.l.f. lip gloss, I will keep it in, but hopefully I'll be done with it very, very soon in January or February time, I imagine. So that one is done. And then I've got my ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter. This is the Coasting shade. And this one I have used three times since, um, like in the last month. Uh, not since the last time you saw me, but I've used it three times in the last month. And you know, it's looking like this. I'll put a picture of what it looked like. I don't really recall if it's changed at all, to be honest, but it's just another item where I just wish that I had been able to get more progress on it this year. Um, but that's fine. I will have to roll it into a project next year and work on it uh, still. It's really beautiful. I mean, even my mirror is getting all messed up because I'm just at the point where I just like, it's just getting messy now. In there. <laughs> um, but I do like it. It's a beautiful highlighter. It's just, I don't know, I, I think I'm just kind of done with them because I have two of them 
that I've been working on all year long. I actually have three Supershock highlighters now because one came into the Hocus Pocus collection. Um, so that's going to be interesting for me to try and use. But these other these two that I've been trying to use all year long are still not done. Um, but I, you know, I'm happy that I got progress. I rolled it into the project and, you know, I got some use out of it. So that's all I can ask for. And then last but not least is my e.l.f. Electric Mood Quad. This I've been working on all year long. So I am excited to put this back in my drawer, at least for a month, <laughs> and not have to look at it. So this one, um, yeah, it has gone through a little bit of a journey this year. It was completely full of product when I rolled it in. I had a bronzer. I had a different cream highlighter in there. So I finished those two, which was exciting. I hit pan in this blush a few months ago. And yeah, I've just been working on these two shades the last uh, few months because this is in a different project. Um, but you know, it's all cream. I might, if I do the Partners in Cream project for next year, which I imagine I will do, I might have to just roll this back in <laughs> and work on it because I would like to carry on with my progress. But um, yeah, just to talk th you through what I've done. So I've used this shade three times the last month and this shade three times in the last month. And that's about it really. Um, not too much to say. I think it's expanded slightly. I'm, I, I've been, I really wanna get like some sort of dip in this one, but it's just not happening. It took me a while to get any kind of dip and hit pan on that one, so I don't know, we'll have to see. But I do dip into this one, then this one, then back into this one, because I, this one's a bit pigmented, but I do like it this time of year, so I should probably use it more than I have been. Um, but yeah, I'm just a little bit, I'm just a little bit tired of it. <laughs> So I'm happy to just say goodbye for now and then in a month's time I might be itching to look at it again. But yeah, that is my update and finale for the Partners in Cream. So I've had some good progress. I've had empties this year. I've I've hit pan in items. I've finished items. You know, it's it's been a good project this year. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm glad that I redid it because there was a time, this time last year, that I was thinking, hmm, am I actually going to do that next year? And I did. And I, and I got a lot of progress. So I'll probably do it again come January time, but I'm not going to tell you. You just have to wait and see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe if you would like to, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!